Now I I remember I had a I did a video with a uh, you know um Gabe the jeweler Raphael and company. So there was a Young Money T Pain piece, and there was there was you know it was you know T Pain joining Young Money. The T Wayne album was supposed to come out. So so your latest piece is this right here. This is the new Nappy Boy Young Money piece. This is a T Pain's about to sign. He's about to sign to Young Money. You better after doing this. <laughs> <laughs> None of that seemed to happen. Yeah. Well, I was actually supposed to supposed to um, join Young Money, and um, you know when I went, and I you know I, I went and got the chain made because. It seemed like it was like really a real thing that was going to happen. And it really was. I mean, it, it really was a thing. But um, I went to Baby baby and Slim, like, talked to me every fucking day. Every fucking day, Baby and Slim talked to me in the studio. And they was like, yo, so how are we going to make this happen? Let's make this happen. Let's do this. What you need? Let's get this. This is what we do. This is how we treat our artists. This is how we do everything. Blah, blah. So I'm like, yeah, I'm with it. And then, um, you know... My, my management came to me and they said, um, basically, like, you know, Baby, Baby Wayne and, and Slim got together, they talked, and they don't want to sign you because you're like a liability and you drink too much. Sometimes you make a fool of yourself or, you know, sometimes you tell the truth about things that shouldn't be told. And I'm like, who the, f and, like, it's a million niggas that say they real niggas. If you real niggas, that means you tell the truth about everything, right? I mean, you don't hide nothing. I thought we was all real niggas. I thought we was, quote unquote, real motherfuckers. Like, you don't hide nothing. That's that's what we do. How have I made a fool of myself? I haven't made a fool of myself. Oh, uh, they say, you know, all the stuff about Ray J and they don't want to be associated with that, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I go through like a year or so later and I'm like, you know, I, I, I actually meet up with, uh, I see Baby and uh, Slim again and... You know, I see them like, dude, like, did y'all really think that? Did y'all really think that I was a liability? Do I really drink too much? Because, you know, at some point, no disrespect. And I understand if you take this as disrespect, but Wayne was a little worse than me. Like, as far as drinking and drugs and shit like that. Like, you know, like, come on, guys. Really? Do I drink too much? And y'all don't do nothing too much? Like, it was. I was just kind of like seeing how they felt. And it was basically like, yeah, we didn't really, we didn't say that. We didn't, we didn't say any of that. So I'm like, so what? So why wouldn't, why can't I sign to Young Money or Cash Money? It's like, we don't like your managers. I was like, well, what? It was like, well, yeah, we don't, we don't fuck with your management. And I was like, well, how, uh, wait, because my management told me that y'all don't, it was like, yeah, that's a lie. That we don't fuck with your management. And then I just kind of, I just kind of was like, all right, well, I guess that's how it goes then. Fuck it. And then I melted that down, made a few more chains out of that, and <laughs> made a few chains out of that goddamn Young Money chain, and got them, and kept it pushing. But, you know, I still was out with Young Money. Though. I, ain't, I ain't got no problem with that. That's for sure. So, so the T. Wayne album is never coming out? The T. Wayne album, we actually got like, 12 tracks of that album right now. We didn't want to put, we didn't want to just say, here's 12 tracks, everybody. We wanted to make like 30 tracks and then, uh, you know, say that we had an actual album. But in the middle of making it, uh, Wayne went to jail, for one. When Wayne got out of jail, that's when all the shit started happening when I was supposed to get on Young Money and all that shit there. And, you know, so we was, we would have been in a different situation. But, you know, the shit kind of came to a halt because it was just like, all right, this is too much. You know, because remember, it, it's like, the shit was too much even when Wayne was saying he was going to make an album with Drake. Like, that shit never happened. Like, so, but at the same time, when well, Wayne got out... Jewels, that, too. Remember, uh, he was supposed to do an album with Jewels, the I Can't Feel My Face. Yeah, that shit, too. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a lot. That, that, that never came out. It's a lot of shit, but at the same time, like, when, when Wayne got out, not only was it just, like, just real confusing, but that's also when I started like really taking a break 
from the shit because I was going crazy and I started drinking. I started really fucking drinking too much because I was depressed and I was like, fuck, Wayne in jail. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, just, it started getting real crazy for me. I started going to the strip club every motherfucking night, just spending money every night. I started fucking just, fucking just drinking my ass out. Like, it was like I would black out every night. And I ain't never did that. I ain't never did that. I ain't never black out two nights in a row except for that period of time right there. But that was like, like literally like six, seven nights in a row I would black out drunk every night. And I, that was just bad. So, you know, I took a break from all this shit because it was the music and the fame and the, the power and everything that was doing that shit to me. I mean, thank God it was behind closed doors. And I just kept it, you know, I just kept it where I was, but... You know, it just got real bad. That's why I really had to take a break from this shit because it was all this music shit that was really doing that shit to me. So, you know, good thing I fucking kept it under control and I can come back as a half, half sober man. <laughs>